and welcome to um, a video length section that I left out of my Disney video about how to do Disney when you're poor. This is about the Disneyland Photo Pass. So the reason I left it out is because there's a lot of information about the Photo Pass that I couldn't get in in that video, otherwise I'd have been rambling for about half an hour. Sidebar, if you're new here, Hello, welcome to my channel. Click the red subscribe button down below. If you've never seen my Disney vlogs before, link in the description. That was my recent trip to Disneyland Paris. If you haven't seen these Disneyland help videos before, link in the description to the playlist there. There's a lot of information to get through. I've been filming all day. My voice is very sore. I look like this in all my videos. That's how you can tell they're all in conjunction. Let's go into this one. Disneyland Photo Pass. Now, when you are at your travel agents, select the Memory Maker option. Memory Maker is the American version of stuff where you get your wristband and your clonk and you get all your scans and stuff like that. And it goes directly to the, the Disneyland Experience app. Americans, pff, go big or go home. In Paris, they have Disneyland Photo Pass. It's not yet as big as Memory Maker, but it can be if they read the email I sent. Feedback. So, Memory Maker slash Photo Pass, depending on whether you're going to America or Paris. This video will be specifically for explaining the Disneyland Paris Photo Pass. However, the American Memory Maker is pretty much the same thing, just with Memory Maker instead of Photo Pass. You get the gist. Also, in America, the options for Memory Maker, Photo Pass, what have you, is a lot more vast than what it is for Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris is a smaller park with a C because it's French and Florida is obviously fucking massive so there's more options out there. You get a photo on every ride even if it's just a slow one. Um, every single character you see has a professional photographer even if it's just one wandering about on the streets. Um, so you always get the chance to have a professional photographer. In Paris however most of the time you do have to take your own photographs um, there's professional photographers for the the main characters like Mickey, Misney, 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 Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, Daisy, Pluto, princesses, things like that. But if, so like if there's a set station for the character that's usually inside, there's a photographer for it. If it's like Peter or Wendy or Hook or anything like that, anyone you see just wandering about, they do have stations to meet, but if it's outside, you have to take the photo yourself, which you can still get really good pictures for. It's just... Um, it's just there's less options. Also, on the rides as well, you only get photo pass for Buzz Lightyear's Blast thingy, Laser Blast, Buzz Lightyear's Laser Blast, Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith, I love Steven Tyler, Tower of Terror, on which I look like a demon. Um, Big Thunder Mountain is one. I think that's it. Oh, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's only like five rides, um, but it's usually the thrill ones because they're the ones where you get the best reaction. Whereas in Florida, you get some other ones because, you know, mo money. So when you are at your travel agents, ask for... Disneyland Photo Pass experience. Memory Maker if you're going to America. They will add that to you. It's about £45 and that means every professional photographer, every professional photograph you have taken, they will scan your memory card and it will go straight on. And it will go straight on the app you have downloaded, which I'll get to in a minute. So, if you are taking the Eurostar, they will bring the PhotoPass coupon to you in that little pack that you get with all your park tickets and things. If you watch my last video, you'll know which pack I'm talking about. If you are not taking the Eurostar, it will either be given to you at the travel agents... It will. If you are not taking the Eurostar, it will be given to you at the hotel or emailed to you by the travel agents. I'm not sure which. Probably the hotel, because that's where it's going to be safest. Um, but check your emails just before your holiday, just in case. Remember to bring this slip with you. In your hotel, there is a gift shop. There's always a gift shop. There's a gift shop everywhere. Take the photo pass receipt to the counter. Say, hey, I paid for a photo pass. They will give you said photo pass. You get a box 
with a card in it. You get a big card with a lanyard to tie around your neck and you also get two smaller keychain cards in case you lose the larger one. All the cards have the same number on the back. Once you get your card, look at the number on the back. That's your memory card number. So, download what is called onto your iPhone, Android, whatever you have, Disneyland Paris Photo Pass. TM. Download that and create an account on the app and then it will ask you to add photo pass you click on that and the 16 digit number that is on the back of your photo pass enter that in to where it says enter photo pass all pretty much straightforward every time you get a professional photographer yeah hand the photo pass to them first before you get your pictures taken otherwise they will assume you don't have one and scan it onto a separate card you can add more photo passes to your account it's just easier to keep everything in one place so once you have your pictures taken they will scan it onto the card wait an hour and then it will be on the app ready for you to have a look at pretty simple pretty straightforward when you are on the rides if there is a ride with a camera on it Go and find your photo at the end of the ride. So when you go into the gift shop and there's the photo kiosk, go and find your photo there. It will have a four digit number in the corner of your photograph. So sort of like down here or up here. It will have a four digit number. Remember that four digit number. They will not remember it for you. They will not trowel through the photographs for you. Remember your four digit number. Take your photo pass to the card. Tell them your four digit number. Hey, one, four, six, eight, please. I'm the one at the back. They'll go, okay, zoom in on you and your friend or whoever you're with. I was with a friend. So they zoomed in on me and my friend. And they will scan that picture onto your photo pass for you. Remember your four digit number. Remember your number. So that's pretty much what you need to do for the Disneyland Paris photo pass. In America it's pretty much the same thing. You will get your photo pass card but you'll also have like a magic band and things. Um, so if they have, if you have like a magic band which you do have in Florida it's pretty much the same thing. They'll give you an app, they'll give you um, a card number, um, it's usually your account number or your ticket number or something like that. Put that into the app, uh, create an account, blah blah blah. When you get your pictures taken scan your memory maker ding ding on the mickey mouse shaped pads if the if it's a ride photo there's mickey mouse shaped pads at the bottom hold your memory maker up to that mickey mouse pad and it will scan that photo that's on the screen there and then onto your account make sure it's your photo i've got loads of other people's holiday photos on my account it's ridiculous um, and if you have a professional photographer they will scan it directly onto your memory maker afterwards so there you go Memory Maker, Photo Pass, definitely worth it. Don't know whether I mentioned, but it cost me £45 to have this. Um, but definitely, definitely worth it because I got loads of beautiful professional photographer. I got loads of beautiful professional photographs and ride photos that would cost £45 to get on their own anyway. So definitely, definitely do Photo Pass. It's really, really worth it. So that's it more Disney vlogs videos to come, press the subscribe button. See you later.